Countdown to Comic-Con has started. Thousands will soon be flocking to the convention center downtown and the surrounding area to experience all that Comic-Con has to offer. And joining us now to speak about Comic-Con is David Glanzer, the Chief Communication and Strategy Officer. Thank you so much for coming to the Fox 5 studios tonight. My pleasure. Uh, we do have to ask you the question that everybody is wondering. How did the writers and the actors strike affect you? Uh, it's interesting. I think what a lot of people don't realize, well, first of all, it, it had an effect, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but not every studio comes to Comic-Con every year. And I think what, what uh, a lot of people don't understand is that the tickets sell out eight months in advance. And they typically sell out within an hour. Um, because people know that the event itself is, is fantastic. Before we announce guests, before we announce exhibitors, before we announce any programs or panels that are going to be there, people want to attend the event. And we've seen a, a lot of excitement for, for this, uh, this week. So, you know, we'd love everybody who wants to be there to be able to be there. Can't always be the case, but we're looking forward to a great show. Maybe it's kind of going back to its original yeah. roots, too, you know. Yeah, well, you know, I think one of the great things about Comic-Con is we've always had a focus on film and, and, and uh, comics and fantasy literature and all that. We go into computers now because uh, things change. Uh, but I think what will be fantastic this year, I think especially, is people will have an opportunity to maybe uh, peek in some panels that they haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. They may find out that they have an interest in things that they had no idea even existed. And one of the great things is they'll find passionate fans who will be in those uh, panel rooms as well. So I guess uh, another question is really what's new and different this year and are you going to be dressing up in your Star Wars <laughs> smuggler <laughs> costume? Everyone That's wants right. to know that, David. It is so <laughs> fascinating that you say that because I, I actually had a Star Wars uh, I know. Smoker costume, yeah. Um, I didn't think you would remember that, but that, that's okay. Yeah. Um, you know what? This is my costume now. Usually, I'm a t-shirts and jeans type of guy, but uh, I'll be wearing my 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 suit for the weekend. I think uh, if there's anything that's different, it's uh, after having coming out of the pandemic. We don't have a mask mandate this year, so we're kind of, if people want to wear masks, that's fine. It's a lot more of a relaxed atmosphere. I think, uh, you know, we, we sold out of tickets, so we're going to have a packed house. Uh, there's a lot of activations, what we call activations outside, a lot of interactive things going on. Uh, there's going to be a lot to do, a tremendous amount of stuff to do, and, and, and probably my favorite thing is uh, being able to meet old friends and, and hopefully make some new ones. You know, and they're so passionate about it when they come, all the fans. Uh, is there anything that people should know, I guess, before they come to Comic-Con this year? Yeah, you know, uh, stuff that um, I think people don't think about, and that is, you know, wear comfortable shoes. There's a tremendous amount of walking, and also stay hydrated. It's very, very easy to lose track of time. Uh, to go from one panel to another, to walk around, uh, drink plenty of water. It's it's warm, you know. So uh, just uh, just take care of yourself and and you know enjoy yourself. Be prepared. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Be ready for what, it so you can enjoy it. What about the amount of people you're expecting? Because you know some people, you know, we were hearing, mm -hmm. okay, well maybe there will be fewer because there won't be the Hall H panels and all that. What are you anticipating here, David? I think well, you know, we sold out of tickets, and I think we're going to have a, a, a full house. We get about 135 to 150 thousand people. That's within the building itself. There's a lot of people outside. Uh, I think we'll have about that much. We haven't gotten a lot of rush on people wanting to give up their hotel rooms or tickets. So I think uh, I think it'll be a pretty good crowd. And there's a lot of people who will be going to events that are Comic-Con themed all around that downtown area. So you're always really flooded with people. Um, David, what's your favorite thing about Comic-Con? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's kind of a, of a campus. I, I will be very honest with you. There's a lot of panels that I want to see. There's some very, very cool panels. but. For me, it's really seeing people that I don't get to see but once a year. People who come not only from all over the country, but from all over the world. I have a friend who comes from the Netherlands, uh, people from all over the place. And it's great to, to reconnect and share the passion that you have. Well, it's, it's exciting every single year so, when we have it. Um, I feel like I haven't been out there for quite a while, so I'm stuck come in on here. Down. I'm gonna I'm gonna head over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come find you in your costume. That's right. And you know, I mean, there's just so much to see and do. Yeah, and again, it's just it works great also for the city. You know, for all the businesses that also uh, benefit from this economically as well. We shouldn't forget about that, no yeah. matter what. The, absolutely. You know, there's a there's a good amount of money that comes in from out of town uh, during Comic Con, and we're grateful for that. All right, all right. David Glanzer, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate you. Thank you for uh, for all of this. And of course, everybody looking forward to Comic Con. If you would like more information about Comic Con, we do have all that information on our website, 
fox5sandiego.com. Maybe even a picture of David in his Star Wars smuggler outfit. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right there, there's a way that you can give back at Comic-Con this week. The event's annual blood drive starts tomorrow. That's through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3.30. It's happening at the Manchester Grand Hyatt, just about a 10-minute walk from the convention center. And to be eligible, all you need to be is 17 years old, weigh over 114 pounds. And all donors will be getting a limited edition Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy 3 t-shirt. Anybody who donates at the blood bank between next week and August 31st will also get the free merch.